Russia launching 21 lethal attack drones overnight in the Kyiv region, 16 of which were shot down. But these attacks came just after Chinese leader Xi Jinping had left Moscow after a three-day trip where he met with Vladimir Putin. And apparently the two leaders proclaimed that they wanted to make peace in Ukraine. Foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burridge has the latest from Kyiv, joins us live now. So, Tom... Uh, so much for the consideration of a peace deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, uh, there was a wave of attacks really just moments after that key summit between President Xi and President Putin, the Chinese and Russian leaders. And actually, Xi was really still in Moscow when the explosion started here. We had air raid sirens across the country at late last night into the morning. Uh, the most brazen attack in the southern city of Zaporizhia, a missile striking an apartment building, killing... Uh, sorry, injuring nearly 20 people, uh, two of them seriously, uh, including children injured in that attack. Uh, we also had drone, those lethal Iranian-made drones launched by Russia, possibly from Belarus in the north, uh, down across the country. We saw critical infrastructure hit in Zhitormi, in, in the cent centre of the country, but also a town to the southeast of Kiev hit, an apartment block hit there. Uh, at least seven people killed. Now, the Russians are saying that Ukrainian military personnel were in that apartment block. The Ukrainian are denying that and once again President Zelensky reacting quite strongly saying this is another example of how Russia is in his words a terrorist state. So how's Zelensky responding to all this now? Well I think you know it's a strong reaction President Zelensky saying once again this is a brazen attack and he's calling on the world to stand up to Russia even more. He's saying this should not become just a normal day in Ukraine, a normal day in Europe. And to be honest with you, having covered this war for the last year, we're used to these kind of days. We're used to the air raid sirens going off. We're used to a wave of strikes, missiles and drones hitting targets across Ukraine in Ukrainian cities. All right, so a group, meanwhile, of 65 Ukrainian soldiers are wrapping up their training on those Patriot service-to-air missile systems in Oklahoma, here in the States. When could we actually see them deployed onto the battlefield and using these weapon systems? Yes, yeah, so 65 Ukrainian soldiers are training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. That training wrapping up in the coming days, according to U.S. officials. And those U.S. officials saying that the first U.S. supplied Patriot systems will be in Ukraine in a matter of weeks. And that is highly significant. It's a be, uh, be beyond schedule, they are ahead of schedule, and that is, according to U.S. officials, because those Ukrainian troops once again are, are proving adept at adapting to highly complex advanced military systems. And the, the Patriots will make a huge difference. I mean, people should bear in mind that the U.S. and its allies have provided Ukraine with an array of air defense systems, but the Patriots are right at the high end. It is a complex system. The Ukrainians will have to decide where to deploy it. For example, they could choose to place it in or around a city like Kiev, and that would dramatically bolster the defences of this city. It would protect key assets and, of course, that critical infrastructure like power stations, which Russia has been trying to strike again and again throughout the winter. But thankfully for Ukrainians, the temperatures are rising here now as we move into spring. All right, and now what are we learning about these fresh drone attacks against Russian-occupied Crimea? These are those water, waterborne drones that you were talking about. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting, Kira. I mean, we've had aerial drone attacks from the Ukrainians uh, into Crimea within the last 48 hours. Within the last 24 hours, we're seeing evidence uh, that there were explosions in Crimea. Uh, the Russians are saying these were waterborne drones. We've seen previous attacks, probably by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians often don't claim these types of attacks, but using these waterborne drones, which we believe the Ukrainians have developed themselves, the Russians are saying this time none of their assets were hit in and around Crimea. But I think people need to realize that the Crimean Peninsula has a kind of sacred status for Vladimir Putin and his regime. It was annexed illegally by the Russians back in 2014. So it is a contentious area. And people should realise that before the full-scale invasion last February, Crimea was a pretty safe place for Russians to live. It isn't now. And these explosions really not only have a military impact, but also a psychological impact too. Kira? All right. Tom Sufi-Burge there for us in Kyiv. Tom, thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.